In this video, we're going to calculate the moment generating function of the exponential distribution. Now, in the previous video, we covered some information about moment generating functions, and a particular importance was whether it was a continuous or a discrete uh, distribution. Now, the exponential distribution, that's a continuous distribution. And its PDF is found with this formula. So it's a function of f of x and lambda, which is lambda e to the negative lambda x, where lambda and x are always greater than zero. So lambda is greater than zero and x is greater than zero. Lambda is our parameter, x is our random variable. Now the moment generating function, which we write like this, so m of x, and then we write of t, so t is our parameter that we're going to put into the MGF. This is calculated with the integral over the range of the exponential distribution, while x is just greater than zero. So therefore our parameters of integration are from zero to infinity. And then what we do is we integrate that with e to the t x, and then plug in our PDF, which is lambda e to the negative lambda x. And then we integrate that with regards to x. Okay, so the plan is we integrate this function here, integrate x out of it, and then we get something in terms of t and lambda. That's our goal in this way of finding moment generating functions. Okay, so now let's do this integral. So we're integrating with regards to x, and we've got a lambda here, so that can come out to the front. And the exponential functions, I've got x in them, so we'll have to try and combine them somehow. So let's do that. So then this equals, so we've got lambda comes out to the front, and then our parameter will stay the same. And now let's combine the exponential functions. So I've got e to the negative lambda x. So I'm going to write my term here as negative x. And then what I could do is, if I factor it, I've got lambda and a t here. So I can write now x, lambda, and then another minus t. So if I multiply this out, I'll get minus x lambda and plus xt, which is this one here. And then integrating with regards to x. Okay, right. Now we're well on our way now to try and integrate this thing. We've got negative x with lambda and minus t in here. So let's do a u substitution to try and complete this integral. So we'll let u equal all of this in the exponential uh, indice here. So x to the lambda minus t. I'm going to leave this negative sign alone. So u equals x to the lambda minus t. And now, usual business when we do our u substitution. So now I'll take my derivative with regards to x, which is going to leave me with lambda minus t, and then dx. So now dx equals du over lambda minus t. OK, now lambda is always greater than zero. So another stipulation that we need to put here, we want our lambda to be greater than our t. So we're not messing around with the signs of this bit here. So t is also greater than zero, but t is less than lambda. OK, so t, let's write it here. t is also greater than zero. That's our parameter. But we want lambda to be greater than t. OK. Now, what about our range of integration? So if x is zero, plug that into here, our u will also be zero. And if we plug in infinity for our x, we still get infinity for our u, so long as lambda is greater than t. Hence, why we put this into our regulations for our integral. OK, so now let's change all this into our u variable. So now lambda stays. 0 to infinity is still our parameters of integration. And now we've got e to the minus u. So our u is x lambda minus t. So e to the minus u. And then dx is du over lambda minus t. Okay, 
let's put that in a bracket. Okay, right, we can just tidy this up a little bit. We can take the lambda minus t out of here. So now it's gonna give me lambda over lambda minus t, zero to infinity, e to the minus u, du. Okay, right, now this is straightforward integral. e to the minus u is down just minus e to the minus u. So let's put that in there as our result. So now we've got lambda over lambda minus t, and then multiply that by minus e to the minus u, minus e to the minus u, and from zero to infinity. So that's the result of our integration. Okay, right, let's put this up to the top and let's see if we can evaluate this over our parameters. Okay, right, let's calculate what we've got. So, first of all, we'll evaluate this at infinity. So at infinity, this here for our u, there's no u there, so this will just stay as a constant multiple. But we've got minus e to the minus u. So that's basically minus e to the minus infinity. So let's write this down so we can see clearly what's happening. So this will be our constant multiple, so that will stay. So now in the brackets, I'm just going to evaluate this at infinity and subtract it at zero. So I've now got minus e to the minus infinity. And then at zero, I now subtract this when u is zero. So minus e to the minus zero. Okay. Now we simplify this off. So we've now got lambda to lambda minus t. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. So e to the negative zero, that will just become one. So this is now minus one inside the bracket. And then the minus sign, minus sign will stay. And then this here will become zero. Because we've got minus e to the negative infinity, that just approaches zero as we approach infinity. So that just becomes zero. So now all we're left with inside this square bracket is just plus one. So now we multiply this by plus one, we just get left, left with this result, lambda over lambda minus t. Now that is a legitimate answer, but I wanna write this a little bit different. So what I could do is, I wanna flip this and then raise it to the power of minus one. So if I wrote this like this, lambda minus t over lambda, to the minus one, that is still the same as that. And now what I can do is I can now split my fractions. So I start off from the, from the value of one. So now this is now in my bracket, I can write this as one. So lambda over lambda, that just gives me one. And then minus t over lambda. And I'll raise this to the minus one. And I know my lambda is greater than t. That's one of my rules here for my parameters. So I'm gonna submit, submit this as my answer for my moment generating function. So mx t is this. So that will be my final answer. Okay.